Singapore hustle bustle and TV screens the size of buildings. After an inaugural event in Geneva, Switzerland, the IPTV Interop train has pulled in to Singapore. There's no better country to hold an event like this. Already, IPTV is available throughout Asia. The ITU has brought together companies from across the region to make sure that the television, the set-top boxes, the technology they produce all speak the same language. In the past, the introduction of new technology has been beset with format battles, commercial skirmishes that hit consumers hardest. To prevent IPTV heading the same way, the ITU has developed a suite of standards that cover anything that could undermine the success of this new technology. There's the ITU-T's H.721, which describes the basic functions for IPTV devices. And along with many others to guarantee quality of service, there's the ITU-T's H.701, determining how errors to the incoming IPTV signal are corrected. Even if uh, we provide a perfect stream, there are many types of home networks and wireless network or power line communications. This kind of error uh, will be sometimes occurred. So to provide a high quality video is uh, very fundamental uh, to provide IPTV service to the home. You don't want your TV to, to all of a sudden go blank or blue or infected by viruses. All those things might ha happen with the internet connected streaming, but for IPTV, since it's a managed, uh, secure service, uh, you can expect to have a secure connection to your service providers. We need to have a good consideration about the content and its management as far as the consumers are concerned. In this context, the broadcasters have a vast experience with the management of content for the use of consumers. What's new about IPTV and what people really like about it is its interactivity. Now, television is classically a passive experience, a one-way street, if you like, with the broadcaster at one end and the audience at the other. Now that's beginning to change, with program makers catching on to the excitement of the internet, social networking sites, Twitter, not just to create a buzz or a chatter about what's on the tube, but also to get people involved. Voting in a talent contest, submitting a question to a leader in a political debate. Marry the interaction of the internet with the quality programming that we've come to expect from television, and that's IPTV. Interactivity plays well with the audience, but can also change the business side of television by allowing TV to beat the internet at its own game of offering targeted advertising. The ITUT's IPTV audience measurement tells not just how many people are watching your ads, but may also give you a profile of who. And in the world of targeted advertising, that's vital. Advertiser, they're going to, have to know which kind of the people will have the different uh, interests. The men always watching, uh, like to watch the sports, and the uh, women will watch, uh, watch like the, the perfumes and uh, the, the clothes. So the advertiser will send uh, the different uh, advertisements to the different people. What IPTV does is it provides <laughs> the same benefits, the same entertainment benefits as broadcast in terms of content, but it gives the added flexibility for service providers to insert ads which are more relevant to, to the consumers. And we, we've seen that on the internet when we have uh, companies like Google which have ad click, who know who their viewers are, who the people clicking on the browsers are, and they provide the targeted advertisements. And we can do the same thing in the entertainment space, in, in the TV space with IPTV. But what about privacy? 
could IPTV's interactivity come at a cost? On show at the IPTV Interop Singapore was a medical application that could free the long-term ill or infirm from being confined to a hospital by allowing them to be monitored remotely in their homes. A marvellous application, but this might not be the sort of data you'd want to share with advertisers, or anyone for that matter, apart from your doctor. A job for the ITU's recommended standards then. The IPTV service, as we present it in ITT, is a managed service, so it's secure, so your data will be authenticated and your privacy will be protected as well as secured. And without, any, without your permission and consent, no data will be sent. And so even though the government will get e-health data, that data cannot be uh, transferred to any commercial services unless you have the consent to. The ITU, through its suite of standards for IPTV, is playing a pivotal role in the development of this new technology, a fact not lost on Singapore's Infocom Development Authority. Worthy of noting is the relentless international effort seen in the IT, ITU study groups which form the IPTV GSI. Their concerted effort has resulted in the identification of suitable technologies for delivering multiple IPTV services and applications on common platforms. As IPTV catches on and matures, the ITUT's suite of standards will have helped transform not just how TV is consumed and paid for, but also how it's created.